hi everyone back, welcome back to the my channel and uh, in this video we are going to learn about how we can install the laravel and the react and the upcoming videos we will uh, make a single uh, videos for both of tutorial like how we can make the uh, apis and integrate in the, into the front end how we can make the login api and integrate in the front end we will uh, make a tutorial like this so now let's get started with that uh, how we can install the both of things and before that I am going to tell you one more thing that uh, for starting with the laravel you have uh, you must have to install the composer and php 7 okay so I am supposing to you that you already installed that and for the react you already uh, need to install the npm and the uh, node because I am not going to include uh, the four of uh, uh, composer php node and npm uh, because if I'm going to install this these things in this video also the video is going to be very long that's why I'm just going to start with the laravel and the react okay so for that first of all just open the command prompt and here just go I'm just going to on my desktop and here I'm just going to make a, a directory with the laravel react fine so now uh, just first of all uh, we can install the laravel for that uh, we have to run the command which is composer create project and uh, then minus minus prefer minus dist laravel slash laravel and the name like say backend and hit the enter okay so why i put the name backend because in the laravel we are going to make the backend and in the react we are going to make a front end so it will take a uh, some small amount of time so to install this so to save the time parallelly i am going to install the uh, uh, react also so just open uh, one more tab in the same window in the same folder you can do that also so just check the node minus v and npm minus v okay so uh, why i'm just checking that the reason being if uh, the my node version uh, my npm version is more than five then i am not going to use the npm i i will use the npx if the node version is less than 5 then i will use the npm okay so uh, let's see uh, it should be start okay it will take just some time and it will be processing automatically here and uh, we will going to work here so now uh, let's say let's start with the uh, installing the react also so just write at npm npx because version is uh, more than 5 just create uh, react app create minus react app okay there is we missed this lesson and here you can write front end and hit the enter and now you can see that the laravel is just starting here and the uh, uh, react is just starting here okay after installing uh, these things uh, we will make a very small change in the laravel and a very small change in the uh, react also so that uh, we can uh, uh, check that the change is uh, happening here and uh, we can just uh, start with the a okay so Lara will take uh, a little bit time okay so I'm going to pause this video so that uh, video should be short okay so Laravel is installed so we can just start with the Laravel uh, until the react is installing so for that i'm just going to write here uh, code dot what it will do if you have the visual studio it will open this folder here so we code the laravel here so now uh, in the laravel you will see that okay actually I miss one thing here so I'm just going to close it first of all I just have to go inside my uh, backend folder 
and just here put the this one okay now let's uh, give us a moment to the structure this is the application here we will write the uh, controller and all these things here we will write the model also so bootstrap have we need to bootstrap some file and this is only work for laravel we don't need to change anything here configuration in this field we will uh, make the configuration of everything like the database mailing system sessions and all and in the database we will write the migration and all public file we will put the public file images css and all these things router heavily will decide the routers and http request storage will be uh, used for uh, file uh, uploading and downloading and test for write, writing the test cases and all okay and there should be a resource, resource folder here we will going to make a first change here you will find the sas and language uh, this is the full localization and we will write some first change here okay so let's check is uh, um react installed it will take some more time until what i am going to do just run the laravel first of all just for that just write here php artisan serve and you can see that we got a address here for just open it the browser and you can see that a nice page of the laravel okay so let's modify it little bit okay for that where you have to go for the first change for that you have to go inside the resource folder inside the view folder and there is a file which is the welcome date blade dot what is the blade and why we put it here we will discuss in the next upcoming video so we can write something here like like this video okay and let's check now you can see that we got the change here so i think uh, react is installed okay it will taking some time because uh, it have to install the many node module for internal purpose also so here you can see that the react is installing the dom is installing and react scripting is installing and all and before that it will make okay so just i'm going to post this video so that uh, it can be uh, no too much long uh, now you can see that we are uh, installed the react also so now just go inside the front end folder and just start npm start now you will see that uh, development server is just starting you will see the first page of the react uh, of the react here okay so now just uh, let's make a first change here also so for that same thing we have to do here uh, just open one more folder and you can write here in the same folder code dot and you will see that the react folder is opened here and now just uh, see in the app.js .js file okay let's understand a basic structure node model is used for the uh, npm purposes for like so you want to put the validations you want to put the uh, routing then we have to use the node models this is used for that one public folder here we can put the html index file and manifesto file and favicon file and if you want to put some public file also that we can put it here uh, this is for CSS and app.js for the main file app.test.js is for uh, testing purposes and okay the another main file is the package.json here we have the all dependencies and all information about the packages all right so now just do the first change here so for that uh, from react learning just uh, uh, we can put here something like this subscribe channel subscribe my channel okay so just do that simply now let's you don't need to refresh even this then you can see that we are able to go that change here so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and uh, please give you some uh, valuable suggestion so that uh, i can check that where i am uh, week and where i am good to teach you and provide the better tutorial
थैंक्स फॉर एवरी वन डोंट फॉर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड लाइक दिस वीडियो